Hello and welcome to Hobson Bros. This week, a very special gift that we got. It was really nice. Yeah. Can we say a special host? Because it's called the Demon Host. Okay. Hello and welcome to Hobson Bros. This week, a very special host. Very. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my brain, my brain. Okay. So Amsterdam Brewery, we've done these guys in the past, I yes. believe. Uh, we drank the Bone Shaker IPA. Of we did, course. we did. The bone we shaker also was had delicious. the three, Fuck, I three forgot speed lager two at the same moment. Yeah. So we already already drank these guys, yeah. and it's a great brewery. A matter of things, they know about us. It's just nice. It, it's honestly, it's great yeah. to have feedback from the breweries. It's not. It doesn't happen enough. We do get yeah. likes and shares here and there, but to actually get a message from a brewery. It's fucking great. It's flattering. It, it is really yeah, flattering. It, it, really it, it pushes good. us to go like, we're doing something good. We're doing something that people are appreciating. And to re reward us, I guess, uh, Edder from Amsterdam Brewery dropped us off a nice little box right here that says Hobson Bros. Yeah, there's some stickers on it. There's, yes, a, there's a nice letter inside as well. Yes, at the same moment saying how beautiful we are. and Especially me. Yeah. And uh, four beers, uh, which include the uh, Demon Oast Black Rye IPA, which we'll be reviewing today because it's recommended by Whippersnapper, another brewery. Recommended oh, really? Recommend this, this one? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's cool, right? Yeah. And, and we also uh, had a couple others as well. And they are part of, while I'm opening up the beer, Max, these beers. I'm part of what? I'm not sure, Chris. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say that it's Amsterdam Brewery. It's from Toronto. Yeah, exactly. Uh, opened up in 1986. Uh, they've got a couple uh, brew brew pub locations. So it's one of those breweries in Ottawa, uh, Ottawa in Ontario that has uh, food as well as beer. Oh. As well as great beer. Uh, and these guys are part of a very special exclusive pack that you can only get at the brewery. So the fact that we got it here in Ottawa is fucking great. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of unique, you yeah. know? Which, I love this, also I hate this. I'll tell you why, Chris. I'll tell you why no, while you take a tell sip. Tell me why. Tell I'll me tell why. you why, because in the eventuality, the, the very, very um, big probability, the fact that we're going to like this beer, and we won't be able to have any more until we go to Toronto. That's going to be done. It's going to be, we can't get it here at all. We have this bottle of this one, and then of three others. Yeah. I feel glad. Either way, I'm really happy too. <laughs> like we, the fact that we here in Ottawa got our hands on these beer that are only available at the brewery is really something. And it is pretty something. One one thing we're li really big on that is that we received these four different beers. We'll be sharing them. Oh yeah, for sure, definitely. So, so don't be worried about that. We're not selfish. They're gonna be drank with other people. Uh, with other people who are gonna enjoy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yes. The Demon Oast, it's a black rye IPA, and first time we have a black rye IPA here on the show. The first time I actually have a black rye IPA. It's a lot of styles me too. mixed up together. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. But um, it's really surprising. On, on the surprising. nose, yeah. you get the nice piney flavors. Uh, it's a forest out there. It is, it is a forest. It's, it's, it's a dark forest. It's, it's the kind of forest you get lost in. You, it's the kind of forest dark. with a demon host in it. With some kind of spirit, some kind of demonic presence in the forest, a dark, dark forest. No, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the one who sleeps in the basement. God damn it, Chris! <laughs> but on the on the in the glass, it's pouring really dark black. Nice, it's super thick dark. Espresso head on top. I'm always saying espresso. espresso head, it is an it, espresso head. Yeah, it, it is an espresso head. It's idea. a little more bubbly than most espressos, but it is. Yeah, the it's color not, of an espresso it's not head. that like. Yeah, but you feel it. Then, yeah. Um, it's really all roasted, but really subtle cocoa flavors, but it's really subtle. Yeah. It's not what you get up front. Super subtle. Super nice balance between the actual roastiness of the, of the rye, the black rye inside that beer, and also, um, the piney flavors of the ops in. It's, there's no tropical ops in that. No. It's all it's piney. All piney. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't have like the, the right word. To describe it, but it does feel like a tree. <laughs> like a tree, yeah. It, it feels like a tree. Is, like I, I'm not. Gonna... I'm, I'm still back on the forest yeah. thing. It smells <laughs> like wood. I, I like this. It's not a bad thing in this, this is, case. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a woody beer. Yeah, a woody beer. Okay. It, 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 is it, woody it, beer. I, I yeah. describe it like this. Yeah. It feels like a tree. Okay. It, re it represents a forest for me, right here. 
I, I see it. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of the rye usually, and not the kind of guy who likes a rye beer. I find that the flavors usually are off with whatever style they're made with. Uh, but in this case, uh, I'd have to say it's not bad. It's really, it's really good. I am not against the rye in this beer at all. But it, is all, it also feels thick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I think beer... it's because it's thick that I, I don't mind Yeah, it. exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's at 6.2%. Oh, so it's not bad. And it's 78 enjoyable. IBUs. Hmm. Yeah, it's 78. So I don't think I feel 78. No, it's 70, 70, sorry. 70. But, but like I still, the, I still like feel... You see, the O is kind of a tricky O kind that of, tells yeah, you that yeah. it's a 78, but it's but 78. It, one way or the other, I don't really feel the 70 in it. No, so no, no. Because of the rye and because of the flavorness of the beer, because it's thick, it, it kind of like undershadows the IBUs yeah. or the, the, the bitterness from it. You get the kind of uh, smoky layer that settles in on the tongue, but the bitterness just spikes up right in the tongue. Really, I, I'm back yeah. on the pine. It's That's really good. Yeah, yeah. I, I really do like this style. It's impressive, it's different. Every sip, you kind of find something a little bit different. Uh, not, not complex is the word you're looking for. There's a lot of complexity yes, exactly. to it, yeah. Which is, is what you look for in yeah. here. Complexity, subtle, but also not too overpowered on the specific flavors that you can find yeah. in it. So it's a lot. It's a beer that asks a lot of work on my tongue right now. <laughs> so my brain is kind of spinning on what am I tasting right now? Is it strong or not? Is it what what's going on? What's yeah. going on? But I really do like it because I love beers that challenges my palate yeah. and this is really up to the challenge so, so what far. i would say is uh get in your car right now if you haven't drank any beers uh, yes. and drive down to amsterdam. toronto amsterdam brewery yeah. <laughs> but in toronto don't in drive toronto. down to amsterdam if you're yeah. driving down to amsterdam you're gonna have to take a plane with your car and that's gonna be a little bit of a an expensive trip anyways drive down to toronto and have one just try it out it's it's, it's up. really nice it's, it's it's really worth it and if you're in toronto just stock up. Yeah, Go just buy stock up, yeah. buy a couple, share it with your friends. Yeah, if maybe you're age coming one. back. Yeah. Maybe usually, age you, you, I wouldn't age IPAs, but this guy, I feel like it might not be a bad thing. I would, I would try it. Yeah, I would try, I would try it. it. So buy two bottles. I a couple, yeah. I would try it. Yeah. Just to see. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Just All to right, see so. <laughs> how, how well it aged. But it's also a limited edition uh, bottle, so having one aging might be worth it. It might be. Hmm. So, if you enjoy this little uh, skit about Amsterdam brewery. It's more like a video. Yeah, it's a video, yeah. A skit, I find skit is a bit more like a humoristic love, uh, kind of thing. Yeah, I know. It's, it's funny what we're doing, right? Uh, it's funny. It's also informative. <laughs> science! Science! So if you like this video skit thing, science project thing, uh, leave a like. Yes, and go check out Amsterdam Brewery yeah. Facebook page, Instagram page. And leave a like there as well. well yes, yes, yeah. because they'll like it. Yeah, uh, and, and then you'll like it because you got liked and liked and likeness. So it's kind of a like. inception of likeness. Uh, likeception. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers, man. Oh, that was crappy. Yeah, that was crappy. It's still crappy. It's still crappy. That's fine. It is what it is.